On the 17th of January 2019, armed police patrolled the streets around Liverpool Crown Court amid fears of reprisals against a hitman who shot dead two gangsters during an underworld feud in Manchester. Mark Fellows was handed a whole life sentence for the murders of gangland Mr Big Paul Massey and mob enforcer John Kinsella. Fellows, who was 38, nicknamed the Iceman, murdered Salford Bobster Massey with an Uzi machine gun outside his home in the city in July 2015. Paul Massey, who was 55 years old and a father of five, was a notorious crime figure in Salford and beyond. He was blasted at 18 times, hit five times and died on his doorstep. Three years later, Massey's friend and gang associate John Kinsella, who was 53 years old, and a martial arts expert was a mob enforcer from Liverpool. He was murdered by Fellows in a second execution. Mark Fellows was a contract killer, a gun for hire, prepared to kill whoever you wanted killed. The judge said at his sentencing, I have never had to deal with a contract killer of your kind before. There are few judges who have. Just punishment in your case requires you to be kept in prison for the rest of your life. Fellows co-accused and brother-in-arms Stephen Boyle, who was 36 years old, acted as a spotter in the Kinsella murder. He was jailed for life with a minimum term of 33 years before parole can be considered. Both men were cleared of the attempted murder of Wendy Owen, who flew at the gunman before retreating as she came under fire. Before he was led away, Fellows shouted from the dock, I didn't shoot at Wendy Owen. She's lying. A member of Consider's family, believed to be one of his sisters, screamed from the dock, Rat! Rat! before the judge asked her to leave the court. Consider helped Stephen Gerrard to scare off a Liverpool gangster known as a psycho who had been terrorising him. Consider was walking his dogs with his pregnant partner Wendy Owen near their home at Rainhill, Merseyside on May the 5th, 2018. Fellow cycled up shooting his victim twice in the back with a Webley six shot revolver. As Consider lay dying, the killer stood over him to fire twice more into the back of his head from a close range. Both victims, notorious heavy criminals in gangland Manchester and Merseyside, were murdered as a result of a deadly feud between rival gangs in Salford. The A team linked to the victims and a splinter faction the defendants were with. A gang war erupted in 2015 in Salford with a series of attacks resulting in seven people being shot, including a seven-year-old boy and his mother on their doorstep. A hand grenade was thrown at a house, an acid attack, and a victim left with horrific injuries from machete. Fellows himself was shot in the hip two weeks later after the murder of Massa. He and Boyle were both a splinter faction of the A-team, headed by a man named Michael Carroll. The A-team was headed by Stephen Britton, who regarded Paul Massey as a mentor. The Greater Manchester Police investigation into Massey's murder had stalled until new evidence was uncovered by Merseyside Police during the Consider investigation three years later. Detectives had a light ball moment when they raided Fellows' home, seizing his Garmin forerunner watch. A tight wall by runners and cyclists, such as Fellows, he had used as a dumb stopwatch, police believe. But the gadget also had a GPS function, enabling routes run and cycle to be recorded. When detectives plugged it into a computer, it showed a few months before the murder of Paul Massey. The wearer of Fellow's watch had travelled from a route from his home to the area behind the church, in which the killer lay in wait for his victim on July 26, 2015. This showed he was a reconnaissance run for the first of their well-planned gangland hits. Quite what Fellows was paid for shooting Massey may never be known. It could not have been a life-changing fortune as he lived in a rented home and worked shifts as a catering company at the time of his arrest. A few weeks into his sentence, Mark Fellows, 38, had a bounty of £150,000 put onto his head. He was reportedly slashed with a razor blade so badly he had to be airlifted to hospital in a savage attack thought to be linked to the killing of the two mobsters. 
It's believed the attack will not be the last. He will be in constant danger from old allies who remain loyal to Massey and Kinsilla. A police officer from the case said, these sort of people have long memories and are willing to wait. Sooner or later, he'll be vulnerable and that's when they'll pounce.